Ignatius47 here. Welcome back to Shaden Hall. We're in Shaden Hall right now. We're going to go talk to Ulrich Von Douchebag. And... Uh, yeah, tell him that we have information that incriminates him. Which I'm pretty pumped about. And she's going to kill the shit out of that dude. I guess. Would love to help, actually. What up, douche? How can I help? Oh, actually, you're pretty nice. Is he in the barracks? <gasps> Ooh, I could... I have an idea. We're gonna, we're gonna break into this dude's room. Let's hear it. Bar, uh, barracks. That is a... Uh, wait. What? Cheese. Oh my god, she's... <gasps> oh, he's upstairs. I gotcha. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, please. No, I'm good. We, we good. Okay, I'm gonna save it. We're gonna pick this door and see what... I'm pretty sure that this is the door that has what I really need in it. <laughs> All his fancy shit. Shit. Damn it. Got it. Okay. What? Oh, there's no. It's just a room. There's nothing even in here. How dumb is that? Yes. I don't want to go into the barracks yet, I don't think. What we want to do is talk to. Garrus? We must put an end to this travesty of justice. Uh, yeah. Those will be mourned. I won't sit by and watch the innocent being driven to the brink like that. Something must be done. But without bloodshed. Oracle Eland. Levana has always been quick tempered. You must reconsider her plan. It can only lead to prison for her and for you. I oh, yeah. She's. Okay. Will pay for this. We must handle this carefully and prove to the Count that he needs to be arrested. Ulrich has been watching me, so I haven't been able to enact a plan I devised to bring him down. That ends today, now that you're here. The evidence we need to incriminate Ulrich must lie within his quarters. Okay. Then sneak in there and retrieve it without being seen. If you're caught, there isn't anything I can do to help you. Just be careful. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Ooh. Sorry. Well, I'm looking at Ripped Apparel real quick. <laughs> uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. That's rad. What? That's cool. It's a Deadpool reference. Turtles and Deadpool. Poor Tivola. I hear she is turning Tivola. all inside out. What? Right, is oh, this is an interesting one, actually. Sadly, he's gone missing. Yeah, yeah. I remember this one. I need to save it before I do that, though, because as I recall, there was a pretty bad... Yes. It's a, it's a... Oh. Oh! What are you doing in his room? Nope. <gasps> yes! Dearest Isabel and Janetta, 
Janetta, is that her name? Yeah. I should be able to send you another package of money and goods within the month. This posting is proving more lucrative than I'd first suspected. Who knew that Indaris would be so easy to dupe? He doesn't even care. He's so busy wrapped up in his own affairs, and I mean that literally, that he has no time to pay attention to the daily operations of Chayden Hall. I'm trying to raise <coughs> the fines again next month. Then we can begin constructing that summer keep we'd always wanted, my cousins. More to come soon. I love to both of you. This dude's sick, man. Sick. In the brain pan. Hello. Hello. What's going on with you? I understand Daedra worship has become increasingly prevalent in the Somerset Isle. The Ultima have powerful wizards. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Sorta. Of. Ebony Mace! I don't want it. I don't want any of that. It's five five gold in the party, yeah. Got it. Okay. I've got to kick it and have a chat with you, man. Are you, are you still up here? Nope. You're downstairs now. Okay. Having yourself a nap. Garris. You're back. Good. Did you find the evidence? Yep. <clears throat> You've done it. This letter will spell his undoing when I present it to Count Indaris. Splendid work. Splendid work indeed. I must hasten to the Count and deliver this immediately. Please, meet me back at the Chaden Hall Bridge Inn in about two hours. I'm going with you, dude. I, I want to see this interaction. What? Where did he go? He go up here? I guess. Try to find this dude. Go ahead. It's cool. I see your interaction, man. How did I miss that? Nope. He's in his private quarters. Alright, I mean, that's fair, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. We'll just, we'll just go meet him by the bridge. Let him take care of it. Do-do-de-do. do 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 I will give my last goodbye. Oh, look at that. Can I can I glitch through that? No. Neat. <gasps> That's not too bad. I thought it would hurt worse than that. A couple heal spells will be good. Damn it. What did I do? Did I miss the, the right door? <laughs> what am I what am I supposed to do? Oh, it's this? This is this Ah oh. The bridge in. That was actual bridge. I didn't catch the end part. Alright. Hey. Let's hear it. Mariana and Sharia, hostess of Shaden Hall Bridge Inn. We provide beds and okay. food to persons of quality in the Shaden Hall community. I like what you do with your hair, keeping it uh, kind of high and tight. Don't have to mess with it. It's all good. Rumors. Knows a lot about alteration. How to cut. Farewell. Okay. Not sure why that's relevant. 
in any way, shape, or form. I'm just going to explore your place here real quick. See what kind of books you got. Do do Real Baron Zaya. Volume one. Two copies. Well, let's see. Is that your basement? Yeah, I probably don't want to go in the basement. I would more than likely upset some folks. I'm gonna set us your bar. I think I think that's a good idea. Set the bar. Yes. Oh no, we're good. I'm gonna um Let's see. Take a minute. We're gonna go ahead and read our read our favorite book here. Oh, it's not. It's not right. It's, uh, shit. What button? Move or tab? <gasps> Did I just drop my book? A book? That's funny. Let's read my favorite book. The Gander. That's only two pages. It's not even pictures, man. <sighs> the Black Arrow actually is kind of a fun my marksman <laughs> skill increase. Well, wow. uh, last dinner in my employ at the palace, the Duchess quite. Surprisingly, it invited the mayor of Mol Mol Moliva, M Moliva, whatever, uh, and Master Humast himself, among her other guests. The servants' gossip was manic. The mayor had been there before, albeit very irregularly, but Humast's presence was unthinkable. How could she mean, what could she mean, rather, by such a conciliatory gesture? The dinner itself progressed along with perfect, if slightly cool, civility among all parties. He amassed and the Duchess were both very quiet. The mayor tried to engage the group in a discussion of the, imp of the Emperor Pelagius IV's new son and heir, Uriel, but it failed to spark much interest. Lady Vallea, elderly but much more vivacious than her sister, the Duchess, led most of the talk about crime and scandal in Elden Root. I have been encouraging her to move out to the country, away from all that unpleasantness for years now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the, ju the, the Duchess said, meeting the eyes of the mayor. We've been discussing more recently the possibility of her building a palace on Moliva Hill, but there's so little space there, as you know. Fortunately, we've come to a discovery. There's a wide field just a few days west on the edge of the river, ideally suited. It sounds perfect, the mayor smiled and turned to Lady Vallea. When will your ladyship begin building? The very day you move your village to the site, replied the Duchess of Woda. The mayor turned to her to see if she was joking. She obviously was not. Uh, let's see, this is uh, Lady Vallea. Think of how much more commerce you could bring to your village if you were close to the river said Lady Vallea jovially, and Master Hiamast's students could have easier access to his fine school. Everyone would benefit. I know it would put my sister's heart to ease if there was less trespassing and poaching on her lands. There is no poaching or trespassing on your lands now, Your Grace, frowned Hiamast. You do not own the jungle, nor will you. The villagers may be persuaded to leave, but I don't know. But my school will stay where it is. The dinner party never really recovered happily. He amassed and the mayor excused themselves, and my services, much as they were, such as they were, were not needed in the drawing room, where the group went to have their drinks. There was no laughter to be heard through the walls that evening. The next day... Even though there was a dinner plan for the evening, I left on my usual walk to, to Moliva. Before I had even reached the drawbridge, the guard held me back. Where are you going, Gorgic? Not to, not to the village, are you? Why not? He pointed to the plume of smoke in the distance. A fire broke out early this morning, and it's still going. Apparently, it started at Master Hiermast's school. 
It looks like the work of some travelling brigands. Blessed Stendar, I cried. Are the students alive? No one knows, but it'd be a miracle if any survived. It was late, and most everyone was sleeping. I know they've already found the master's body, or what was left of it. And they also found that girl, your friend, Prolissa. Prolissa, whatever. I spent the day in the state of shock. It seemed inconceivable that my that what my instinct told me, that the two noble old ladies, Lady Valeia and the, and the Duchess of Woda, had a, arranged for a village and school that irritated them to be reduced to ashes. At dinner they mentioned the fire in Moliva only very briefly, as if it were not news at all. But I did see the Duchess smile for the first time ever. It was a smile I'll never forget until the day I die. The next morning I had resolved to go to the village and see if I could be of any assistance to the survivors. I was passing through the servants' hall to the ground, the grand foyer, when I heard the sound of a group of people ahead. The guards and most of the servants were there, pointing at the portrait of the Duchess that hung in the center of the hall. There was a single black bolt of ebony piercing the painting right at the Duchess's heart. I recognized it at once. It was one of Missen Aiken's arrows. I had seen in his quiver, forged, he said, in the bowels of Dagoth Ur itself. My reaction was relief. The Dunmer, who had been kind enough to give me a ride to the place, to the palace, rather, had survived the fire. My second reaction was echoed by all present in the hall. How had the vandal gotten past the guards, the gate, the moat, and the massive iron door? The Duchess, arriving shortly after I... Technically, that would be after me. No, wait. After I arrived. Yeah, that's right, actually. Wow, okay. Uh, was clearly furious, though she was too well-bred to show it by raising her web-thin eyebrows. But by raising her web-thin eyebrows. She wasted no time in assigning all her servants to new duties to keep the palace grounds guarded at all times. We were given regular shifts and precise, narrow patrols. Next morning, despite all precautions, there was another black arrow piercing the Duchess's portrait. So it continued for a week's time. Ah, saw to it that all right. So it so it continued for a week's time. We're gonna we're gonna uh, actually finish the story in the next video. I'm, it's it's a good story so far. <laughs> uh, until then, Bomituna. See you next video.